Hey everybody, it's Mary. Welcome back to the channel. We are doing a Craft Galley Design Team project. Today we are going to look at, review, and play with these alcohol pearl inks from Ranger. So they come in this beautiful arrangement of rainbow colors and they are truly a lot of fun to play with. So I'm going to list what the colors are called as well as these two um, more like mixatives. But you want to make sure before you use them, you shake them up real well. And then we can get to playing. Okay, so right now I am going to swatch them out for you and I'm going to put up the ink colors here as I go. So I'm going to slow this down just the first couple, but the saddest thing about doing this in person and then editing the video is that you don't get to see really what happens when you drop them on your on your paper. Now, mind you, I am using Yupo paper because it's a synthetic type of paper and I don't even really want to call it paper. It's like plastic and it'll help it move a lot um, so you can get the best out of your alcohol inks but you can't see what happens when you drop them. They glisten, they move. It's like they're alive, <laughs> they're amazing. So, um, so that's really what's going on. And then when they dry, they have this really beautiful pearlescent, hence the name, finish. And so I think that's great. Now I'm trying to get the light here to show you, but as I'm doing that, I'm moving them around on my paper, which is fine, this is just my swatch but I'm really trying to get you to see that glistening action. And it's just hard to see. Now they do dry back, and when they dry, they're a lot more flat, so they're not as sparkly. They're just pearlescent. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these three colors here, and we are gonna get to playing. So we're playing a lot in this video. We're doing a couple different techniques, but um, more so just having a great time. I am going to drop those on, and I'm gonna use all three colors here. I'm just going to cover up my paper. Now, I had no in real intention of what I was going to do, but I had a vision in mind. I like to do similar to the alcohol pour, or sorry, the paint pour technique, where you kind of just move the alcohol inks and they tend to not dry as quick as I had thought they would. But even if it starts to dry a little bit, what you can do is pull in your alcohol blending solution, like I'm doing right here, throw some on there, and now you can get that mixing. So you can also do the just circle drop technique where people just drop when you take your alcohol inks and drop them over the paper and you could start to see that circle kind of um, fill its way out into other circles and I think that's a really cool technique. See how I'm doing here? <clears throat> but I wanted to move the colors around. I wanted to get like a blend, a soft seamless blend between the two. And so that's how I got this is just by adding that alcohol blending solution and just moving it around. So you can see me do that. So it's starting to become more of what I was envisioning. And so I'm gonna bring back in the dry swatches. I'm gonna pull the light in so you can kind of see that pearlescent um, attribute there underneath the lights. And if you didn't see it from these little tiny swatches, my hope is that you will see it from this ginormous swatch <laughs> right here. So there you go. It is magical. I absolutely love it. And this panel in and of itself was probably by far my favorite panel, even though I had a couple runner-ups. So because all of you have saved my life recently and told me not to spray alcohol blending solution into the air to breathe, I so appreciate you for that. I don't know how I missed that. I'm gonna pour it into a paintbrush. This is a water brush pen designated now for my alcohol blending solution. I find that I can get a little bit more control with my paintbrush, also I can paint with it, whereas the nozzle for the alcohol blending solution kind of squirts out and just, I can't control where it's going as, as well. So I'm gonna be using my paintbrush a few times throughout the video. I am going to be adding this red color and the yellow, and of course, from kindergarten, we know that that's gonna make orange. This end result was actually Adia's favorite color, um, the favorite panel of hers, which was surprising to me because she usually goes for the purples and the pinks. So that was kind of cool to see. Here you can see me bringing in that pen um, or the paintbrush, and I'm just pouring some blending solution over it where I want it, adding some more colors. Um, right when I thought there wasn't enough red, I put some more on and then thought there's not enough yellow. <laughs> 
So then I went back with that and then just really ended up having a beautiful mix of those colors. I see some holes in there that I'm not super excited about. So I'm going to bring back in that paintbrush and I'm going to just paint and kind of fill in those holes. That's another really great um, feature of using the brush instead of the alcohol blending because you're going to get more of that circle effect if you're using your alcohol blending solution to drop it in. So um, that was, I'm, I'm really glad that I did that. All right, so now I'm moving on to making a blue-green um, type mix. Now I could have used blue and yellow and got, done the same thing and gotten a green mix, but I really just wanted to use that green that I had. I thought that was just really super pretty. I'm trying to keep a little bit of that blue to show through um, just because I think that it's just nice to kind of have that as an added touch. So I add a couple more drops of that and then I'm going to leave this alone. Okay, so let's move on to painting a rainbow. So I'm gonna be using my alcohol ink to kind of go in a back and forth motion. I'm showing you here in real time just so that you can see what kind of tempo I was using to do that. I don't fill it in all the way because I'm gonna go back and do that with the paintbrush, but I now I'm gonna speed it up for you so we can get through that. And I'm just gonna go down in the rainbow order. If I had one thing to change about this card, I would have gone all the way to the bottom of the card. So I would have spaced out my colors a little bit better because I would have liked to have used the card in a different way. So you're going to see all the end result of the cards at the end of the video. Um, but I stop here with the purple and the, the purple and the um, magenta or indigo, whatever the color is. Um, but I should have gone to the bottom. And then I take my paintbrush and now you want to make sure you're wiping your paintbrush off onto a cloth on the side or paper towel because I don't want to bring, you know, the purple into the yellow. And so um, you want to just keep cleaning that off. And now I have a much smoother blend of colors because of the paintbrush. And I didn't squeeze out any alcohol blending solution. I was only using what was on the brush already. And so nothing was added. So I'm going to finish that up. I'm going to go down to the bottom, finish this up a little bit, and paint that just a little bit more. But again, if you do this technique, I would recommend going. It gives you more options to use the whole card panel for something. So, And then I'm going to put that aside. I don't want to bend that one um, or you know tilt it because I don't want those to bleed into each other. So I'm going to put that aside and don't touch it. And then this one is my, I think this is probably, yeah, I'm going to go for it. This is my favorite one. I'm going to put in rainbow color order drops of this alcohol pearl ink at the very top of this Yupo paper. So I am going to, um, you know, just kind of space it out across the top. I want to make sure I cover the whole top of the card. And once I get that done, because I'm working on Yupo paper and because it moves so well, I'm just going to tilt it. And here we go. It has this amazing effect of dripping and I'm going to capitalize on that <laughs> because I really like it. and here's where my thumb gets in the way I'm like dope and then I move it and you know what happens when you move it you get a smudge so wasn't super pleased about that <laughs> um, all right so I'm gonna add some of this alcohol blending solution to the very top just to get it moving a little bit more and maybe take in a couple more of those streaks but I don't want them all to go to the bottom of the paper I'm going for this really kind of wonky look so if I have them all going to the bottom, that's cool too, but I really was going for this. When I go back in to add some more alcohol inks, it's attracted to the wet of what's already there. So it's not going to create too many more of the um, streaks, even though that would have been cool too. It's kind of going to attract itself to what's already created and going to fill it in a little bit more. So it's kind of like thickening or darkening the color. So I get down um, to that, and then I'm going to do the same exact thing. You really don't need to do it twice. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen. But in doing it twice, I realized that you don't really have to. And then I'm going to do it again. And then I'm staring at this, and I'm like, hmm, should I do more? No, put it down and stop. <laughs> that's what I told myself. So that's it. Okay, so let's talk about some of these cards. So I don't show you the card making process. The footage fairies got me big time. And um, I am going to show you this first card here is using a neat and tangled set. Um, this is called Paint Night, and she is super duper cute. I used Arteza Real Brush Pens to color her in. I used the smallest stamp in the set, which was the heart, 
I made that um, those hearts on that little canvas that she's making in rainbow order to kind of match the theme. And um, then I fussy cut them both out up against the black line. So uh, the last thing I did was pop them up on some foam tape so that they uh, could show dimension and the sentiment I cut out by hand as well. You add color to my world. So I thought that was super fitting for that card. The full rainbow panel, I um, wanted to cover the bottom so you can see that white was showing too much on the bottom. So I covered it with some light blue clouds, a uh, glitter card stock heart, and then the lucky die I had. And that's going to be a beautiful, colorful, um, maybe a St. Patrick's Day card. Who knows? So that one finished that way. Matted that on some yellow. This one I matted on some shimmer cardstock from DCWV as well. And this is on an orange cardstock. I really just wanted this to be the focal point. Um, paper rose dye here. Vellum for the background shadow. The um, shimmer paper for the sentiment. And then some Your Next Stamp glitter drops to add to that. Again, making the backgrounds the star of the show. This one, I was, the background was, um, I loved how there was white space around it already. I didn't even intend to do that, but it was mostly green when it dried back. So I used my lucky dye again with some green Your Next Stamp um, glitter drops. Uh, they're not glitter drops, they're like enamel dots. And then I matted that on some shimmer cardstock as well. So for the final panel, I could not bear it to cut this down, so I kept it, and this is a large card. If I would have just kept the panel on some this purple glitter cardstock, I would have been happy as can be with just that. <laughs> but I figured, well, let's just put a sentiment on there. So I used a die cut, and the, um, using the word kindness, some stars there, and I left it alone. So very simple, but I wanted that background to be the star of the show. So that will do it for this video looking at these alcohol ink pearl inks from ranger you can head over to craft galley and pick them up in the shop they are amazing and you know i like to keep it real i wasn't 100 percent sold on those when i was watching it on video from creativation but when you get those in your hot little hands oh my goodness you're gonna love them so thanks so much i'll list everything we use below and we will see you in the next video Bye bye